Good morning everyone and welcome back to my Endless Happy Days Lockdown Diaries vlog series. Um, it's week six, this is week six. It's actually Wednesday the 29th of April now so we are halfway through week six. Um, haven't picked up the camera yet this week because I just haven't been feeling myself. I haven't been feeling ill or anything but I've been feeling really tired, super drained, um, sleeping a lot. I've slept in the last two mornings which I haven't done yet at all since lockdown. I've been getting up really early still and getting showered and dressed for the day um, but the last two days I've just stayed in bed till probably about 10 o'clock which is late for me um, because I just didn't feel like getting up. I felt drained and a bit not down, I wouldn't say down but just not motivated really as much as I felt the last few weeks. Um, I don't know whether that's um, because it's week six and things are starting to get increasingly difficult now. I know that a lot of people are feeling like that. I've noticed on social media. Um, just the mood has taken a little bit of a nosedive for people. I think it just feels like it's lasting forever. People are really badly missing family and friends. So yeah, and also the weather's changed. The weather is no longer bright and sunny. It is um, cloudy and windy and chilly. Um, and it has been raining, although it's not raining right now, but it is forecast to rain a bit more. So yeah, I think this week is probably the first week that I am really digging deep um, to keep the positivity going and um, my spirits up etc hence actually bothering to put some makeup on and some earrings in today which I haven't done the last two days at all I've had no makeup on I've just been in comfies not bothered really with anything and I've quite enjoyed it I mean there's no pressure like I'm not saying you should be getting dressed and up and ready every day just to stay at home if you feel more comfortable not doing that then that's totally fine it just depends what works best for you um, but I think I did need a couple of days just to decompress a little bit and hibernate um, in my own little cocoon. Um, yeah, and obviously with it being chillier, I've moved from outside and the conservatory into the main lounge to work in the afternoons and stuff. So I've been catching up on a bit of Netflix and some box sets. So yeah, more of the same really. I think um, I'll probably try and pick up the camera as much as I can over the next few days, but I think this week is... Um, definitely going to be a bit of a quieter week, possibly a bit of a shorter vlog than my other ones have been, which you'll be relieved to hear because they've been extremely long. Um, yeah, so that's my little intro for this week. Um, not a lot else to say really, other than I hope everyone else is doing okay. And if you're watching this and you're struggling and you're feeling a bit down and unmotivated, um, I feel you, I'm with you on that one. Um, we're all in this together and reach out to friends or do some self-care, pamper yourself, watch something funny, eat food that makes you feel good and that you enjoy. Um, don't put pressure on yourself. It's not a fitness competition or a creativity competition or anything like that. It's just what suits you. This is, you know, about what gets you through um, and that is different things to different people. So right now for me it's going to be uh, making another cup of tea, potentially getting a couple of biscuits because why the hell not um, and then thinking about a bit of lunch before I sit down to work for the afternoon. So yep yeah, I will check in with you a little bit later on. About to log on for work in about 10 minutes but just made myself a little tuna sandwich and somebody over there is enjoying his little scrap that he got from it. I mean, he ate it already about 10 minutes ago when I first gave it to him. He inhaled it, but what he's doing now is he's standing and licking the bowl um, continuously because he's just hoping that some more is gonna appear from somewhere. It makes me so sad. It's so hard not to be a feeder with animals and I'm sure children as well. How, if anybody else has got cats and dogs, like how, I know it's for their own good and I know that that is the reason why you don't overfeed them but it's just so hard when they look at you and he's like please give me some tuna um, and he's just enjoying it so so much it's 
takes all my strength not to give him any more. Um, I could so easily have just opened another tin and given him another dollop of it, but I know that um, giving them too much tuna is not good because there's too much mercury in it. So it's definitely a treat and treats are good and in moderation like for all of us, but look at him. <laughs> is that nice? Oh yes, it's delicious. <laughs> yeah, so I'm hoping he doesn't realise that there's tuna left in that, so I'm going to eat that. I've got a little packet of Watsits. I got Alex to get me some Watsits from the supermarket the other day because they're not too bad calorie-wise. They're about five, um, they're 90 calories, so what's that? 20, 40, 60. They're like four and a half um, Slimming World Sins. So um, they're not too bad to have a little packet with lunch. Not that I'm fully back on Slimming World at the moment. Um, I have to admit, I'm doing the best I can, but during lockdown, it's just gone out the window a little bit, which is fine um, because now is not the time to be putting extra pressure on oneself. Um, but I'm not doing too badly. I have still been losing weight over the last few weeks. So yeah, it's not a total disaster, but obviously it's not going as quickly as I would like because obviously I'm not sticking to it. So that's totally my fault and I accept that. Um, but yeah, I'm not under any great time restraints. So especially now that lockdown's on. So yeah, just gonna have my little tuna sandwich and my what's it. And then in 10 minutes, I will log onto my laptop and start work for the afternoon. Um, yeah, and I've got a bit of Netflix on the go. I don't actually know. Um, what I'm going to go for today. Um, I'm a sucker for watching the same things over and over again. So, um, oh, I really like the Lady Gaga documentary, Five Foot Two. If you've not watched it, highly recommend it. It's fascinating. Um, didn't really know an awful lot about her before I watched it. And now totally love her, totally in love with her. Um, and I think it's also where I fell a little bit in love with Mark Ronson as well. But um, keep that to yourself. It's five o'clock now, a few hours later than um, when I last filmed, I think, but I've just been sitting working in the lounge and just I turned the heating on because I got really cold and now I'm really warm. Um, and actually, I feel a bit like I'm getting a headache again. I think it's just, um, I don't know, tiredness and a bit of stress maybe. Just feel like I need to get a little bit of fresh air. Oh my God, that is so much better. Oh, it's brightened up a little bit. It was really miserable before, but it's actually, it's still a bit chilly. It's not brilliant weather, but I thought I'd come out and get a bit of air. Oh, I miss, I miss not sitting. I miss sitting in the sunshine. Got so used to it the last few days. These hostas are starting to come out as well, Alex's hostas. These are so gorgeous when they they get really big and full. That one's getting a little bit attacked. I think we need to get some slug pellets in there because slugs absolutely love hostas. They will obliterate them um, if you're not careful. And here, this is my rose bush. It's a David Austin rose. Um, and there's a specific reason I have this because it is the William Shakespeare rose and when it comes out it's like the most beautiful deep dark pink colour and the blooms are really full and lovely so I can't wait for that to come out actually all these hydrangeas that we've got here hydrangeas are my absolute favourite I'd have the entire garden covered in them if I could Oh God, I just needed to get some air. And just sitting in the house all day. It's just so bad for your brain and your mind and your overall state. I um, do feel very lucky that we've got a garden and an outdoor space because I don't know how people are coping that don't. You're, you know, amazing to me. If you're getting through this without any outdoor space because coming outside really gets I don't know it just brings me down and I'm getting a bit anxious and a bit stir crazy oh oh look how that's growing in between the azalea those bluebells it's like they're intertwined with each other they're so pretty this has just done so well this year 
it was terrible for ages it just never bloomed for about the last three years and now Max has been giving it feed and it's just incredible lovely it's like a super splash of colour in the garden because everything's so green and lush and there's just this bright red bush <sighs> right I think I need to get a glass of water as well I think that might help right two minutes break done because I can't hear the phone if I wander outside so I've got to stay by it my little buddy is fast asleep Oh, sorry. He's been asleep. He's been asleep all day today. He hasn't even been out once. Usually he, um, usually he goes out sort of first thing in the morning for a few hours, maybe about two hours in the morning from sort of eight till ten. But he's not even done that this morning. So the last time he was out was last night. So I don't know how he doesn't need a wee or anything. He just seems to hold it because we don't have a litter tray for him. He just goes out. He's got his cat flap. Cat flap. He can go out when he wants to. Not that he does during the day. He just wants me to open the door for him. But um, yeah, he's not. <laughs> Look what I can see from here. <laughs> just those two little feet. Resting on the side. <laughs> oh my god. So cute. So damn cute. I'm actually taking a couple of paracetamol now because this headache is actually starting to get the better of me. Wow. I had no idea my hair looked such a mess today. Oh, I'm falling apart this week. Well, I'm not, but you know, not wanting to be dramatic or anything. But yeah, I'm feeling a bit stressed and a bit meh anyone else feeling meh got myself a big glass of ribena about to watch the daily press conference on the bbc as per usual they give an update every day about the latest figures and the situation um so yeah we've had this every day for the last few weeks they were even doing it before official lockdown started um, obviously since Boris Johnson, um, our Prime Minister had coronavirus himself, whoa, that is zoomed in. Um, it's been Foreign Secretary Dominic Raab um, in his standing in for him in his position. Um, but yeah, we had, we had these updates way before lockdown even started, so they've been going on for ages now. Um, and it's great, I guess, to keep up to date with everything, and they are telling us daily developments and everything so yeah this is this has become the norm now in this country every day about five o'clock or or round about this time we get our daily update from the government so just gonna down this because i think i need it and um catch up with what's going on alex is home now we're just sitting outside having a little cup of tea i brought some biscuits out as well it's quite warm in the sun here, I've got a biscuit. Oh, biscuit. Oh my god. <laughs> Here's a biscuit. What are you a cookie? Yes. You brought me two cookies. No, one's for me. You I don't, don't mind. I don't mind them. They're a bit flapjacky. You you like. No, I don't usually like a, a boring oatmeal and raisin, but they're quite nice. They're very buttery. Buttery biscuit. <sighs> My paracetamol's finally kicking in now, so headache is wearing off. It's been so miserable and dark all day, and now the sun's come out for a little bit. It's bliss. Hey, it's on the go. Ooh. I don't know. I don't know how you tell. Is that what you asked for? Yeah. Oh well, they should be then. 
I'm very excited for steak and chips. I'm having steak and chips tonight with a little bit of salad just for good measure because I suppose you have to have a bit of salad. Hey Google, lights on. Bing. Turn this one on as well. Mm. Sorted. You alright, lazy little loaf? You alright, lazy little loaf? You want to play with anything today, do you? Not even Tatty Rat. What's up with you? You're just not feeling it. You've had a lazy day. <laughs> My lazy little possum. Right. I don't know whether I will. Um, oh God! Look at me. I'm a broken woman today. I don't know whether I'll end up. Um, vlogging anything again this evening we're gonna eat our dinner and we're, we've sat down and started watching something on Netflix called Community because I think Alex said he'd heard it had good reviews but I'm just not convinced so far I'm not enjoying it it's a bit annoying and it's not making me laugh so I don't know whether we'll carry on watching that or not but yes but for sure if I don't vlog anything else this evening I will for sure pick the vlog up again tomorrow which is Thursday so yeah Bye for now, I'm gonna go and chomp down a big old steak. Good morning. It is Thursday morning now. Um, oh, just sitting down. I've come in the conservatory today to have my breakfast because it's not that cold today. It's quite warm actually. It's very, it feels very muggy. I've had all the windows open upstairs in the bedroom while I've been getting ready. Had another lion this morning. Did not feel good when I woke up, felt quite nauseous, which I still feel a little bit nauseous now, but I think it's just tiredness because I hardly slept last night, didn't, didn't sleep very well, and then Alex's alarm went off at something like half past five, so I just stayed up, and then by about nine o'clock I was feeling not too good, so yeah, had another little hour of sleep, and then got up, had a shower, got dressed, put a bit of makeup on. And now I'm going to have a little bagel and a cup of tea um, and then hopefully I'm going to have a little Skype Zoom session um, with my lovely, lovely friend Jilly um, because we've not had a proper catch up for ages and usually we end up sending each other WhatsApp voice notes which is quite funny and it's kind of like having a conversation but not so I just thought we may as well have a proper, proper catch up and talk today. Um, yeah, not much else on other than work again at one o'clock which will probably be as quiet as it was yesterday. The one interesting thing about today is with it being the 30th of April, tomorrow is May Day and I think I might have touched on it in a previous vlog, the fact that I'm quite interested in paganism and the old earth worshipping religions and I'm not saying that I am a pagan because I don't think I know enough about it and um, yeah, to sort of say that you're a member of a certain religion is is quite a big statement to make. But what I will say is that I do enjoy observing a few of the traditions and the um, times of year that they celebrate specific things. And today is a very special day. Um, it's known as Beltane, which um, from sunset tonight till sunset tomorrow on May Day was um, a big pagan celebration of um, fertility, conception, rebirth. Um, I guess it's the time of year for rebirth, isn't it? There's loads of tiny little baby animals being born, um, things are coming to life, the the trees, the, the flowers, etc. So it's just, it makes complete sense to me that at this time of year, you just do something to recognize that and give thanks for the return of the sun and the return of the light and, you know, the fact that you've made it through another winter and another dark period. Um, I just love it. I think it makes total sense to me. So I'll be doing a couple of things later on to honor Beltane, Beltane Eve. And the most interesting thing that we did last year, Alex and I, was um, fire jumping at dawn. You're supposed to bring in the dawn um, by lighting a fire and jumping over it. Well, women and men can jump over it, but mainly if women jump over it, it's supposed to help fertility. Um, so obviously that's a big thing in our life at the moment. I've not really talked about it on this channel and I probably won't talk about it too much just because it doesn't really lend itself to being positive and happy um but we are um 
probably going to undergo IVF at some point. Um, it's been a long, hard, difficult journey up until this point and now we're in lockdown. So any treatment we were going to have is completely on hold, which is fine by me. I'm happy not to be stuck in a lockdown um, halfway through any sort of medical treatment or with a new baby or pregnant and worrying about it. So um, yeah, I'm just riding that wave at the moment and I'm completely fine with it, which I didn't think I would be, but I am. Um, so yeah, so I mean, every little bit helps, right? So if we do a little bit of fire jumping in the morning to bring in the dawn of May Day, um, what harm can it do? Um, we will see, but yeah, I'm gonna be bringing in some flowers from outside. I'm gonna be scattering some seeds amongst them and some placing some eggs amongst them as well, which is very symbolic, eggs and seeds. Obviously, I don't need to explain that to you. Um, so yeah, that's probably the most interesting thing going on today. So I will report back, but right now I'm gonna eat my bagel and it's been four minutes 30 of me talking. So well done if you're still listening and still watching because um, yeah, just well done. I'm just sitting at the dining table then and the postman, as he approached the driveway to push some stuff through the door, shouted here we have it and then pushed um this little package through oh yes it's what i was hoping it would be earrings i've ordered from this company that i found on instagram in fact no let's open it in here let's open it in here oh it comes in a little bag Oh my god, these might have to go straight into my little ears. Look how pretty they are. Little Monstera leaves. The company is called Little Nell and I found it on Instagram. I don't even know how I found it on Instagram. It must have just been like on suggested things. But now I regularly um, peruse this Instagram because the jewellery is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have to put those in. Oh, I love them. What do you think? They're nice and subtle. They're a bit more, I, I thought they'd be a bit bigger than this actually, so I'm quite glad that they actually still look okay if I've got my hair up, because I had planned to wear them with my hair down, but, ooh, oh my gosh, yeah. I'll, um, I'll link their website below if you want to go and take a look, because honestly, I've been drooling over all kinds of stuff on it, so I think I'll probably be making another purchase at some point, but yeah, I'm absolutely, in love with my little monsteras. And there's my big one right behind me. Obsessed with these leaves, obsessed with these plants. Absolutely beautiful. I can hear to set up for work now and it's starting to rain. I don't know if it's picking up the sound on the camera, but to me it is so cozy, like the sound of rain when you're all warm and, and cozy inside. So yeah i'm kind of happy about that is that weird that i'm enjoying sitting somewhere with the sound frame super cozy max has been and done the garden now so it's looking neat as anything but now it is hammering it down it was such good timing just finished and gone home i'm still working but now i've got the ultimate soundtrack going on. Heavy rain. I'm free, I'm free. Right, I've logged off work for the day. Alex is home, he got home a lot earlier than he has been doing normally. He got home about five o'clock actually. So what I'm doing now is, oh the garden looks nice and fresh. Look, Max has been and done it and he's moved this hydrangea, which was over there, um, but he's moved it here for us because well, there's a gap and we wanted to save it because everything over there, I'll show you quick. Oh, we've got plans for this side of the garden. So we're trying to sort of move stuff as we go. So the hydrangea was here. But obviously this wilderness, it's been a wilderness for a long time for a reason because we're going to renovate this side of the garden so he's been slowly putting stuff down to kill everything off all the weeds and all those beds that just were full of nothing um we think we might be able to salvage this bush 
when we do all this side what all of this is going the sheds that go way back into the corner there that are also going so yeah we're gonna hire a skip and clear it all and then the um, plan is to deck it all and have a huge like seating area for like a bit of an outdoor kitchen and table and everything but for now I've come out to get myself some bluebells this is my green man and I'll be lighting my little candle at dawn tomorrow on May Day but I thought I would just come and get myself some um, little bits of flowers and greenery to take inside um, as my little Beltane offerings the idea is to bring greenery and spring flowers inside and mix them on I think pagans would generally tend to have a proper altar but I don't go in for an altar or anything like that I, I just use it sort of on the dining table for a bit of decoration and then I will add my eggs and my seeds for all the symbolism and yeah it should um it should look nice I did it last year so I might take some greenery from there and some little flowers from there Okay, got my little my little bits and bobs. I think these are gonna finish soon anyway, so I didn't feel too guilty about taking some to put inside. But yeah, this will do for now. I haven't got a big vase of flowers on my table this week, but I've just brought those from the kitchen and put those in between both little arrangements. I think they look quite cute. We're thinking of getting pizza for tea because we didn't take anything out of the freezer. Mm. And <laughs> you're looking at some of the deals. Mm. Looking at some of the uh, the Amazon deals? No, not Amazon deals. Not getting pizza from Amazon. Is this no. no. Domino's deals because Domino's is the only pizza to get. Let's face it. Even though Alex would disagree with that. You like all kinds of pizza, don't you? Yeah. Right, pizza is on order now. So I've decided, because why would you not on a random Thursday, to make myself um, a little porn star martini. And yes, I do not have a cocktail shaker. Well, we do have one somewhere, but I can't find it. So I've been using this travel cup, which does the job, pack it full of ice. I mean, it keeps stuff cold inside because it's insulated. So it's metal like a cocktail shaker. Uh, screw the lid on and give it a good shake and it works a treat so I'm going to use that I've got the recipe from a friend of mine well my hairdresser actually her boyfriend is a mixologist and she sent me the recipe which I will be forever grateful for because having them at home is dangerous and also the best thing in the entire world and the best thing about lockdown so I am supposed to use a bit of passion fruit puree as well but I don't have any but these are all the other ingredients so pineapple juice passoa which is a passion fruit liqueur um vanilla vodka and a little dash of sugar syrup and you've got yourself the most delicious cocktail in the world oh yeah and I'll need a little strainer for when I pour the drink out in a minute pizza night and May Day tomorrow. Oh my god. Oh. 
happy Thursday to us. <laughs> no. Good morning. Um, it's Friday morning now. It's just starting to dawn. The security light is on. That's what's um, lighting me up. Well, I don't know if you can see. just starting to come light now so I've come outside I'm gonna go and light my little candle over near my um, my little bluebell corner with my little green man and then I'm just gonna see in the dawn on May Day um, I think it's a bit wet it, it could start raining as well so I don't think we're gonna light the fire this year last year we lit a fire and over in the corner and did a bit of fire jumping um, but I'm probably going to leave that out this year just because um, it's probably going to rain so I might end up just sitting here undercover for most of it but yeah it's going to be nice seeing in the dawn to be honest so yeah I'm just going to go and light my little candle probably can't even see me yet I don't think can't see myself on the camera so um, there's my little hair silhouetted against the sky <laughs> I am here the dawn chorus is so beautiful I hope it's picking up on camera that's my little candle in the corner you can't see anything yet because it's not quite light enough This is dawn on May Day 2020, the weirdest year I think most of us have ever known. And it is starting to rain now. Let's hope the rain helps to bring more life from the ground. I'm going to retreat under the veranda now because it's, it's starting to rain. Ooh, there I am. <laughs> the rain is really coming down now, <clears throat> which for me is only adding to the cosiness of being out here for dawn. Um, got a little cup of tea. And yeah, it's starting to get a bit lighter now. The light is starting to come up. Alex is still in bed. He was going to get up with me, but I think he's obviously just not managed to get up. So um, it's just little me enjoying the dawn. Please don't think I'm crazy. There's just something so lovely about being up at this time and welcoming the day. Not that I'm going to do it every day, mind you. Special days only. Yeah, the light's coming up a lot more now. My candle's still going in the corner there. It's twinkling in the darkness. Hello, it is later on now. Um, not a lot later on, well, it's a few hours later on, but I've only just got up, if I'm honest, because I was up so early to greet the dawn. I went back to bed, um, had a bit of tea and toast, went back to sleep after Alex had left for work. Um, yeah, and then I've just got up, had a shower, got ready for the day. Um, yeah, so plan for this morning is, got a couple of jobs I want to do. want to have a little clean and tidy round, um, as I normally do on a Friday. Um, I normally clean the whole house on a Friday, ready for the weekend, but... Um, I've done little bits as I've gone along this week, so there's not an awful lot to do. Um, so yeah, I'll probably get that done this morning. Um, try and catch up with a few people on Skype. I need to Skype my mama again. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to sit down, have some cornflakes and a little 
thing of juice because I have had breakfast technically already when I first got up this morning. So this is like second breakfast. Um, yeah, and then I'm working at one o'clock. Um, and then this evening we are hosting a family quiz night. We've done all the questions and there's a bonus family round of questions as well, which are just about the family. So that should be quite funny as well. So I try and vlog as much of that as I can do. Um, yeah, so that's what Friday's shaping up like. I don't know where the weeks are going. They do, they're disappearing. Um, it just feels like it's constantly Thursday night clapping outside, Friday again. Um, I don't know where the weeks are going, but it's, it's a weird thing with time at the moment. I don't know whether anyone else is experiencing this, but the weeks are just disappearing into nowhere. But yeah, the months, the months are not racing away. And I feel like we've been in this situation for just ages it's just it's very bizarre the whole concept of time is very strange at the moment and when we go back to normal life I don't know what mess we're going to be in um but yeah so anyway I'm glad it's Friday because then Alex will be home for two days um so I won't be as lonely <laughs> poor me um yeah so join me for a bit of a bit of Friday in lockdown again um, Chester Zoo alive again and this Friday it's um, breakfast with the chimps it actually couldn't be I'll just turn this volume down a bit it actually couldn't be better um, I absolutely love primates of any kind and oh my goodness look at them I am in heaven right now watching them <laughs> The afternoon is over now. I had one phone call all afternoon and that was my boss at quarter past one to check whether I was okay or not and nobody else rang. So it was an extremely quiet afternoon for me. Um, just done a hoover round, doing a little bit of spraying and wiping, a little bit of tidying for a Friday. I did want to do it this afternoon, but I figured if I put the hoover on, I wouldn't have been able to hear the phone. So I've saved it until now. Alex is home, we just gave this one a successful little brush, didn't we? With chicken bribery, because that's the only way, apparently, he'll let us brush him now. Um, so yeah, everything is smelling fresh, it's smelling of um, Method um, Wild Rhubarb. Nicest smell in the entire world, if you've never smelt it, you need to smell it. Okay, I think I'm done. I think I'm going to do a little once over upstairs and then we'll think about getting some dinner on the go because we're going to host a family quiz at about eight o'clock, half past eight. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, but yeah, we've done all the adult questions, but we need to um, come up with a fee for Alfie so he can get involved as well. So he's an absolute nut when it comes to Marvel and the Marvel stories. He's seen all the Lego movies. So yeah, we're going to come up with some questions for him um, to add to that. And then, yeah, we're going to set up for the quiz later on, have a few drinks, might make myself a little cocktail again tonight. Um, yeah, Alex was moaning that he's running out of good beer, so I don't know what you're going to be on tonight. Are you on beer tonight? Or... Yeah? Yes. Yes, although your massive stash in the... Well, say yes then. Your massive stash in the um, fridge in the garage isn't enough, apparently. Right, I am going to go and do my little bit of um, vacuuming upstairs and then I'll get back to you. It's time, this is Alex's, I'm not having two, I can't eat that much. But we're having a bit of salad with some minty lamb burgers from one of the local butchers. They are the nicest things ever. They're so tasty. They do fall apart quite a bit, don't they? They're a bit crumbly. But they're tasty. So we're going to have that. And then um, I think we're going to jump on Zoom to the family at half past eight. So in about an hour. i um, just been blasting a bit of Ariana while I was cooking and cleaning around the kitchen. Um... What are you doing? Oh, you're trying to put the extra chairs in. Alex collected a lot of chairs once in one go because we needed dining chairs. So what Alex decided to do was buy all the chairs, just buy all the chairs that were on Gumtree and eBay and God knows where else he got them from. So now we have an abundance of chairs, which is great 
maybe once or twice a year when we have that many people round but for the rest of the year it's just a an ongoing battle to find a place to put the chairs um so what we've had to do is have you extended the table no oh how have you fit them round because you can fit them in oh so okay just, as long He's, as um, stick out okay so, so that's fine, out. whatever, just as long as it's not. There's been a row of chairs, you've probably seen in the background, just a row of random chairs, like a little waiting room right here for a waiting room for the table, so for the house. Table. Yeah, but we're in lockdown, so not a single person can set a foot in the house apart from you and me. Just in case. And there's only so many chairs that I can sit on in a day, so what? there you go. At least we've moved them now. So, right, better eat Where dinner before it goes. Ones, the other ones? Yeah. What do you mean the other chairs. ones? Well, there's definitely one in the spare room upstairs where we've been camping out for the last hundred years. There's definitely one in there. Is there? Yeah. Oh, I've just stuck the other one upstairs, that's right then. There's six and four. There's literally two people living in this house. Four ladders and six creams. Mm. So is there a cream one that's upstairs? Yes. Send help. Hmm? Sorry. Nope. Yep, come and eat your dinner. What? <laughs> come and eat your dinner. Did you film me walking away then? No. Didn't film you walking away. So we've had a little change now. Um, oh, I am um, glamorous assistant quiz woman and Alex is quiz master. Look at his shirt. And we've put some twinkly lights up for our um, quiz backdrop. So yeah, I think we decided just to dress the part as host and hostess of the quiz. So yeah, we're just sorting out the little Zoom meeting now, and then we're gonna crack on with our crack on with our quiz for tonight. You get five points, and if you can get it within five, you can have three points. <laughs> just don't. Out now, like that. Uh, points, 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 <laughs> points, 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 points. <laughs> and points in this game do not mean prizes. They might do, but after lockdown. Because it's lockdown, I'm just quarantine. Number eight. Okay. Are you all ready? This is a good one. You need to be poised and listening. Yeah, you listen to this. The first person to appear on camera in a hat, gloves, and scarf. Get yes, two points. Two points. Go. Go. A hat, gloves, and scarf. Go. Get me boxing gloves. Oh my god, get me a hat. Just on the. Get me there. Well, I get there. Screaming, get me it. Alfie's just sat there. Look at Alfie, he's just a floating head. <laughs> okay. Wait, wait, wait. We've got to have them on, they've got to be on. They've got to be on, fully on camera. Let's see them all. <laughs> oh, Jodie's oh, on! Oh, yes, Jodie's done it. Jodie was on. You won. You were you still didn't. fumbling. You only had one glove on. Watch it again on the video. I filmed it. it. Adjudicate that one. Even though she's got them half on, she's got them on. You were just holding it. Yeah, no, I, I, <laughs> Look how big they are. They're, they're, they're massive. They're just big. Um, Jody and Alfie. No idea. Tuesday. <laughs> Lucy and Ed. Tuesday. <laughs> Max. Wacky Wacky Tuesday. <laughs> wacky Wacky Tuesday. And no bonus points, but just for fun. <laughs> what did we name Wednesday? What did we name Wednesday? Dobby Doggy Wednesday. Dobby Doggy Wednesday. Dobby Doggy Wednesday. Yeah. Dobby Doggy Wednesday. Why the hell did we name it that? I don't know like that was, what did Alex, Max and Jen name that day? Yes, no, but... It was, what, no, what it was, was what did Max call those two days on a Sunday when everyone was around? It was. I don't, I was here. We were there. Yeah. Everyone was there. Everybody was there. Uh, number two. I don't remember it. What was the name of the bar 
uh, where me and Jen got together. Lucy and Ed. <laughs> and, um, was it Amp? Amp. Jodie and Affy? Come on, Joe. Where's this bl bloody hell? Uh, Mum, Max, Roxanne? Blue fish. No one okay. got it right. So, but for the for the uh, for another point. For a bonus point. What was you all got that wrong. Alex's chat up line. Got it. Lucy. Jody. Come here often. <laughs> uh, Mum, Max, Roxanne. I can't sit here any longer. Oh well, you you know we could go somewhere else. No, I mean I can't sit here any longer without giving you a kiss. Yes! It's close, it's close. It's without That's, without kissing you. That is pretty accurate to be it was fair. It's pretty close though. That is. Disgusting. Seventeen and a half Are you years later. Contest? We're at Brannigan's. 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 Yeah. Which is no longer there. No longer there. In Stockport. <clears throat> classy. Yeah, very classy. Keeping it classy. <laughs> we go. Question number three. Yeah. yeah. For one point, what three items was Max wearing when he dressed up as Jack? Uh, Lucy and Ed. <laughs> Oh. Okay. Luke, uh, Jody. Okay. Jody. I got, I got dressing gown, necklace, and earrings. Okay. And what year? What year? Uh, oh, 2008. 2008. Uh, Mum, Max, Roxanne. Uh, pearls, dressing gown, and sunglasses, 2006. Ooh. Ooh. Do we want to watch it? Yeah, go on then. Let's watch it. Oh, where's the camera? Hey, come and watch it! Number six. <laughs> Why did Mum's gravy turn green? <laughs> Lucy and Ed. Use water from the cabbage. <laughs> uh, Jodie and Alfie. Cabbage. Uh, Mum, would you like to confirm? <laughs> yes, I use the water from the cabbage. <laughs> <laughs> you ever going to do that again? Maybe. No, it's because I always use the water from the carrots. Okay. And for some reason, I either forgot to take the water from the carrots or something. So I thought, oh, I'll put the cabbage water in. It's a nice story, Grandma. Number seven. Wait. What? <laughs> Go again. Just, just say that again. <laughs> Alex liked to stroke. Alex liked to stroke his what? Because why? Coronavirus. She's getting real. Go on, Joe. Can you say that again? What was it? What was your answer there? So when I was younger, I liked to stroke what? Your pussy cat. Because it was fluffy. Interesting. But, but what did you actually say? Uh, pussy and fluffy. <laughs> okay. Okay. Moving on. Moving on. Who should we go to? Lucy and Ed. Uh, Lucy and Ed. Okay. Mum, Max and Roxanne. This monkey because it's furry. Oh. So close. So close. It's not furry. It's not soft. Say the foot. Say, wait. Just say pussy because it's soft. Alex. 
Some are. Some are, yes. But, um, but no, that is not the answer. <laughs> Alex, would you like to say the full quote for everyone's benefit? I like to stroke my monkey because it is hairy. Uh, I wrote it in one of my books at school, yeah. It was, um, yeah. I think, for a, like, what did you do during the holidays or wow. over the weekend. Yeah. That's been passed around. Accurate. Okay. Any points for that? Any points for that question? Um, yeah, the monkey, stroking the monkey. 